I'll be back later. <sighs> be careful now. And come back before dinner, okay? No response. I was expecting her to say I'm the one who always makes dinner. She does not seem to have the energy to talk back to you anymore. That does not mean that your jokes are not funny. That's an accurate assessment, but it's not very flattering. Anyway, you can come in now. <gasps> How long have you known I was there? Since last night, when you were stuck on the window trying to take a peek at Rorona's face while she was asleep. I would never do that. I'm not you. I've only been here for two or three hours. Oh, so you have been here for a while. Ugh. You've become rather patient. What happened to you, Cory? Leave me alone, and don't call me Cory. I came here to ask you for a favor. You're here for me and not Ravrona? What kind of favor are you talking about? Will you fix this for me? You can do it, right? The stone that Rorona made. It's split in half. It's like a symbol of the friendship between two girls that I know. Why, you? Some things just shouldn't be said. Sorry, I shouldn't have joked about that. At least you're energized enough to get mad. That's better than someone. Really? Rorona. To be honest, I can't fix this. Huh? Why not? I'll pay you. That's not the problem here. There's no way to completely put these pieces back together. Even with my best effort, the cracks will be blatantly obvious. Then how can you call yourself a genius? You can't do a single thing you're asked for! What should I... Hey now, don't cry. You know, Cory, you're starting to look very cute to me. I'm not crying! And I told her not to call me Cory! <laughs> I shouldn't have come to you for this. Hey, wait. I can't fix that for you, but I do have an idea. Well, what is it? I'll at least hear you out. There you go. That's my Lady Cordelia. Well, it's kind of embarrassing for me to propose this idea, but... 